Okay, what's up, y'all? Um, today I'm eating some Indian food. First, I'm gonna tell you what I got real quick. Um, I've got um, a chicken kebab with some rice. This is tiki masala, chicken samosas. This is goat biryani, biryani, and then some naan bread. A little salad right here. Another little salad right here. Some sauces. Okay, some sauces. Um, I had I ordered butter chicken, but they forgot to give me the butter chicken. Kind of sorry about that because I really that's what I really wanted. But oh well. So I'm gonna say a prayer and then um, start eating. Yeah, I think this is I'm about to receive for nourishment in my body. I think Jesus name I pray. Amen. All right, so I'm about to get it in here. I really wanted that um, butter chicken. I had, um, so there's some food trucks that come um, outside of my work every day. And there's this one, I think, what I don't know what the name of it is called. But that they have, he serves butter chicken in like this uh, bread bowl. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm. Oh, Bubby, juicy. Bubby's out there pooping. <laughs> you can never go wrong with tiki masala. I'm telling you, it's so good. The chicken kebab didn't doesn't look like how I thought it was gonna look, but. I mean, it's a whole compartment here for a third entree. I mean, I think that, think to put my, you know what I'm saying? But the person who was like gathering my food wasn't the one that took my order, so maybe that was it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I haven't had this before, but I wanted to try it. This it has to be a cinnamon stick. Yes, it is. Which I'm totally fine with. It's just that when I was in the car, I was smelling cinnamon, and I'm like, "What? What could pot like? I ain't getting no dessert. What could possibly, you know, have that much cinnamon in it?" It's just and a bay leaf. So this is goat biryani. Really, I really wanted some greens too. Them greens be the bomb. Oh, and this is a little spicy. I like it. Samosas are always good. Mm, really good. I love the samosas at Cheesecake Factory. This is really good. My first meal of the day. I've been asleep. Well, I slept. I slept until about 11 and then I got up. I had some, a little bit of errands to run. I had to go get some stamps and so I can mail the rest of my Christmas card. I had to go get some more Christmas cards because I ran out. Um, I just picked up some bows for present wrapping. Um, a couple more presents. Um, some wrapping paper. And I think that's it. And then got some food. Mm. 
and it's all spicy and I like it. I think they gave me some extra of this sauce. Probably some sort of, I mean it's definitely got cucumbers in it, cucumbers and tomatoes. When I was reading them, cause I've seen I've seen this place. I wanted to go to another place, but it was just a little further that I wanted to drive. This place was closer to my house, um, and it was like uh, this place kind of caters towards um, an employer's lunch rush, cause there's a um, an employer like building right behind this place. <laughs> So, and that made me think of uh, when I got there, I wanted some samosas and they only had chicken. Probably because they ran out <laughs> after the lunch rush. Bless you, Bubby. Bubby is two months today. Tell my oldest that I got this food because he wanted to do an Indian food um, mukbang, but he ain't been at home and I really w was wanting it. So, yeah, it tastes like the like sauce that they be using on euros or whatever. I was really looking forward to that butter chicken. I ain't gonna lie. This chicken masala is good. It's nice and it's sweet. Okay, so I was watching Dalvin and Nicole yesterday. Zaddy Chunk Chunk and Nicole, of course, if you are not familiar, who is uh, B Love's son, her other son. Any of it. I was watching them yesterday, and it sparked something that I want to talk about, but I can't. Oh, high school. <laughs> well, one of them, Walmart, and I got a pineapple Fanta, and. I don't know, they probably even caught my eye only because um, they were drinking like a pineapple, like Mexican soda in the video that he posted yesterday. I was like, hmm, but pineapple pop is good. <laughs> I don't even drink a pop for real. But when you're in the store hungry. Man, so we went to my mom and I. We shopped till we dropped yesterday. I was gone from 11 a.m. until like after 8. <laughs> Only about an hour of it was not shopping. Um, but I'm pretty much done. I mean, I don't even know. It's just ridiculous how much I spoiled <laughs> my kid. I, and so I want to go get some more stuff. Just like really some stocking stuffers really. Because I got all the like big stuff. I just want to go like five and below and get some stuff, but we'll see. If I, well, I am leaving the house before Christmas, but we'll see if I feel like going to the store before then.
<coughs> Excuse me. And you know what? Another reason why I don't uh, eat pop, <coughs> well, not eat, drink pop, all like that, is because I can't really take the fizz. Like I like, I would rather drink flat pop for real. I don't like how it burns, you know, going down. Hey, Bubby. So in this sauce, they got like tomatoes and cucumbers and some herb. Don't know what it is. And there might be some onions too, like chopped up in sauce. It's kind of cool. So I don't really know what biryani is. I mean, this is basically just rice and meat and spices or whatever. But it's pretty good. I think the other place I was gonna go to, they the review said that it had the best biryani like in the city, but. Again, I was just a little too lazy to go over there. It's not, it's really not that far, but. I want to stay in my little area that I was in. Cheesehead Factory last night I got um what I get uh some it was Jamaican black pepper chicken and shrimp it was good I think I want to say that was the first time I got that or maybe I feel like maybe my dad got it before or maybe I had some of his I think that was the first time I myself ordered it I usually always get like um pasta when i go to the cheesecake factory these are bones i'm taking out and bt dubs but i want to get something different my aunt my sister aunt she always gets the same thing at the cheesecake factory and her excuse is that it's just like i never know when i'm gonna come back and that's what she say all the time. And it was like one year. I mean, we had went like a lot. And she got the same thing. But the thing that she does get is really good. Yeah, Bubby. Yeah, Bubby. What else? Excuse me. She gets the lemon herb crusted chicken. And it comes with mashed potatoes and carrots. Ooh, and I don't know what they do to those carrots, but it's so crazy because the carrots on um, in that dish, if you get carrots in any other dish, they don't taste like that. Like I don't know, they do some, they sweeten those carrots and do something special with the herb roasted chicken, but not with any other dish. Uh, ooh, yes, excuse me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
and if you know me like if i if somebody messed my order up i am really less likely to call or like go back or send it back or something like that i just eat it because it's like it just seems like so much work to get it you know over again or get it redone And man, what cheese had the cheesecake I got was um the Cinnabon Swirl cheesecake or something. It was really good. I'm really surprised that was my first time um eating it. I really was gonna get that or a pineapple upside down cheesecake. Um haven't had either one of them and I'm really close to like having cleared that list of cheesecakes like I probably pretty much had all of them I was really surprised they still had pumpkin cheesecake and I was gonna get that automatically because you know they'll they only have it after September I don't know when they stopped serving it but but I want to get something different so but that Cinnabon cheesecake so the the crust of it is like a Cinnabon and then there's a layer of cheesecake, then another layer of Cinnabon, then another layer of cheesecake, and then it's got some nuts on the back side, and it's like a, a caramel on top. It is slapping, okay? It's on hit. <laughs> As uh, Nate will say. As you can see, or tell, I watch a lot of Beloved. I watch the whole family. Well... I'm, obviously, I mostly watch Be Love. Uh, I've started watching, excuse me, um, Zaddy Chunk Chunk's channel a lot. I've watched a couple of Nicole's videos. And I've watched Darius's videos. Excuse me. I'm just obsessed with them. I love them. But, um, man, they used to have this, um, freaking Dutch apple cheesecake. When I tell you, that probably was the best flavor that they had, and they don't make it anymore. I was just talking to my dad about that today, and we both saw it. Like, why would they stop making it? It was so good. You always wonder, I always wonder, like, why, like, what prompts people to discontinue stuff like Taco Bell discontinuing them dang on caramel apple and panadas. I can't imagine them not selling because I mean I got one. I got at least two, one or two every time I went to Taco Bell. And sometimes I would just go to Taco Bell just to get the dang on caramel apple empanada. So, again, I'm so confused. Uh, excuse me. Um, what else? Oh, so I was going to talk about um, high school. Because they was who? I forget in whose video. I think it was in Nicole's video. Um, now I saw yesterday, um, they was talking about like high school, like what was your status in high school and, um, stuff like that. Um, and she was, she's had mentioned that there was a group of, uh, girls and they were called something like they, they had a name for them, but they could, she couldn't remember what her name was, what the name was. But that led me to think about my group of friends. We called ourselves the squad. <laughs> <laughs> the squad it was four of us um besties like we had uh, well me and uh, my best best friend we have been best friends since sixth grade um then the one of the other girls i believe did she come in middle school uh, i don't think that she was at the school in middle school i think she came in ninth grade i think and then the other girl, excuse me, um, we, she, we, I think she went to school since it's great. But we were pretty popular. 
Now I just knew they were stuck up. We had a little hand sign and everything. <laughs> and we just hung out all the time. It was fun. High school was fun, man. Um, and then they made me feel old because they were talking about they can't wait to go to their 10 year class reunion. And we definitely, I had mine already <laughs> three years ago. Um, yeah, so that made me feel kind of old. Um, and then it was like, would you go back? I, I would definitely go back to high school. I wouldn't change anything because high school is lit okay especially when i start coming into like my girly side I used to be like real tomboyish like in middle school and then ninth grade like i got my first pair of heels and it was on from then. and like i mean i wore heels so much our school was a fashion show it was a really small school well kind of a small school i mean it was a i think you say i think it's a magnet school i'm pretty sure it, we it was from sixth to twelfth grade so i've been in the same school since sixth grade so my mom was like, if you get kicked out this school, then I'm going to kick your butt or whatever. But it was a, it's a really good school, performing arts school. I played the violin. Um, and, um, yeah, so really close-knit school, too. Like, even though, like, I mean, we it was always a rivalry as far as, like, whose class was better. Like, I graduated in 2006, and we was the best class, hands down, or whatever. I mean, the other classes were cool, but we were the tightest, okay? Don't let them tell you nothing different. No. Um, but but even still, like, even with that, like, every everybody throughout the classes, we were all real close. Because, I mean, we all have been there. A lot of us have been there, you know, at that school for a long time or whatever. So, you know, watched everybody grow up or whatever. So, I just love my school. Uh, my class, graduating class, was 75 kids. Um, yeah. Yeah. And we're all pretty, you know, still mostly keep in contact or whatever. And now, like, even though I was popular, I, I talked to everybody. It wasn't like, you know, I was stuck up and wouldn't talk to certain people. I talked to everybody. I was cool with everybody. The lames, you know what I'm saying? The other, you know, whoever. I've just always been a very personable person, you know? I like people. So yeah, high school was fun, man. Mm. It was only at times I wish I went to another school went because we didn't have sports, or at least we didn't have Division One sports. Well, we had Division One tennis team. Our basketball team was D three. Both both basketball teams. We didn't have. We had. It was one year that we had cheerleading drill team and high stepping. I was on the high stepping team. Now I might take that back because <laughs> it was so embarrassing. We sucked. It was so bad. We had practice for so long, but for whatever reason, we just could not get it right. So we had this pep rally where high stepping drill team and uh, cheerleading all performed. I was so embarrassed to be a part of the high stepping team because we look terrible, guys. We look so bad. Oh my gosh. Like no like some people was just standing there, didn't even do the routine. The rest of us that was trying to do the routine was like jacked up. And like this is the thing, I feel like I can dance. I I mean not feel like I know I can dance or whatever, but for whatever reason this routine just really had me jacked up. Um and then, like, I almost made the cheerleading squad. Um, the reason why I didn't is because, um, you know, I, they wanted you to um, do a round off. Round off, And instead of trying to attempt one, I just said that I couldn't do it or whatever. But if I had tried to attempt it, then, you know, they'd have let me on the squad, basically. Um, and I was like, dang, like, that's crazy because I should have just, you know they'd have taught you or whatever it's not like you had to be the best or, and a round off ain't ain't hard either you know what i'm saying so in any event i didn't so i didn't do the cheerleading squad did high step in, and we only we didn't i don't even think we made it a whole year that's how bad we were <laughs> um cheerleading i feel like i feel like cheerleading went to like some sort of competition like that was good my best friend um was on the cheerleading squad so yeah 
and um, like my best friend, like when I say my best friend is the one who who we've gone to school with. Oh, I've gone to school with her since sixth grade. But the other ones are my best friends too. But she's like best friend, best friend. Like we were like thick as thieves. Like she was basically my sister, okay, at school and outside of school. And like it was to the point where like if one of us wasn't with one another, like people was asking like where where's your you know where your sidekick at or whatever, because that's how joined at the hip we are and still are like people still do the same or whatever we live she still lives in cleveland i live in columbus but she's um godmother to my kids like kids, I can't believe y'all. That's crazy. to even say like it's, it's still surreal like um um little baby um bubby had a doctor's appointment and when they were like well, what was the name you know i gave the last name and then uh i said i gave my oldest son's name because i'm you know that for eight years like he's been my only child so i'm still used to only being a, or i'm still getting acclimated to being a mother of two hey bubby bubby what up me yeah so what else i gotta say Cause they just brought up so many different things that I was thinking about. I was like, dang, I'm gonna have to talk about this in the video, but I probably should have wrote it down. Cause, um, but yeah, high school was fun, man. We was off the chain for sure. We was bad, not bad, but I don't know. Would you call it mischievous? I don't know. Not mischievous, cause we didn't get a whole lot of trouble. I mean. Mm. All I know is it was fun. And our school was pretty tight, man. I mean, it's a couple people, a good number of people who, like, are, you know, famous in some way or, like, uh, you know, doing something with their art and stuff like that. Like, we tight. Our school was tight, man. Oh, but that's what I was saying. That's the only, uh, only reason why I wanted to go to another school is for sports. Like, the other really popular school in the in my school district was uh, Glenville. And I don't know if you guys follow, um, like, college football, Ohio State football. Like, a lot of the kids who play, especially when I graduated, it was so many of them um, that came from Glenville or what have you. And my sister, she went to Glenville. That's the only reason why I want I wanted to go there because one it was tight it was like your typical like public high school or whatever it was fun. I mean it was cool but, and so we like went to their basketball games and stuff but we ain't really uh yeah. Anywho, I'm about to go on a tangent and be talking about random stuff. Anywho, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you um like the video, give us a thumbs up. And um, if you are new here, please, please, please subscribe to our channel um, and hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And uh, leave some comments down below. Let us know, you know, uh, excuse me, next things you want us to try or what have you. I got some other ideas and stuff, and I'm still going to do that A&W video. I just need to go. That was that too was outside of my little driving range of where I wanted to go today. So, but um, that that would be coming for sure. Anywho, Bubby Bubby is over here talking. He's like, I'm two months today, y'all. I'm over here. I'm trying to be a part of this thing too. Anywho, I will see you guys in the next video.